The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up five, Nasdaq's up three, S&P's down three, gold contract flat, 1241.50. We got silver also flat, $15.82. Light sweet crude, they're taking crude down. Uh, yeah. Two bucks, 69 uh, a barrel. Quite a move. Big move. We so were just at $74 Wednesday. Totally. Pretty remarkable, yeah. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note down 8 ticks, 120.03, 30-year bond off 21, 145.01. King dollar, king dollar down 335 ticks, 94.165. Now, king dollar, folks, has been trying to take out that 95 since May 30th. Failed again on Friday. Bottom line is we'll see what uh, good old king dollar is going to bring to us uh, this week. The euro is at 117.22 to 1 U.S. dollar. The yen is at 112.30 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Netflix. So, we love Netflix, Tom. We do. This afternoon. After the bell, right? At 405. 405. We're going to see where this baby's going to spin. How many millions of subscriber growth, right? Yeah, totally. Maybe we'll see. They're I mean, hoping millions, I'm sure. I don't know what expectation is, but that would be a big number, I yeah, think. Yeah, uh, and look at this, you know, th this equity... How many just years a little bit of strength this year. What year is that? Let me just, I'll bring it back a year first. Okay, so that's a year. Yeah, I mean, look at the takeoff, right? January 1st, even, so going back there, where we're at, 164. Um, it's pretty remarkable, though. I mean, it's literally a takeoff right on January 1st. I mean, right? Where, where yeah. are we at? 191. Oh, yeah, that's not even six months. That's that's, a, that is six months. This six calendar months, year, six and a half months. double in price. Man, that's amazing. It is. That is a big number. Um, and, you know, I, what's going to get intriguing here is this, is that what you brought up last Friday, that there's no doubt, I think, that you got Amazon now that's into it. you got Hulu that's into it, right? you got the, the cable companies that seem to be getting into it, right? You know, so it's going to get intriguing here. I mean, I love Netflix, and I think it's one of the best value deals out there. I was watching some Netflix yesterday, yeah. last night. I, I, I was watched, actually watching that Vietnam documentary, which oh, they have that, now on Netflix. Isn't they that didn't great? always have that. Yeah, and I yeah. watched the first five or six episodes right. and never got to finish it. Right. And then I couldn't quite find it on PBS in Demand. And yeah. I know it's actually airing on PBS last night, too. Okay. Um, but anyway, I was watching it last night, I agree. For, yeah, was totally. it 11 bucks a month? Um, exactly. Yeah. And they're kind of the leader of the pack, but they're going to face some competition, and they yeah. have some crazy PEs. Can you go into Netflix, just their yeah. main screen again? I always kind of crack up at some of these PEs, whether it's Netflix. Netflix there you go. I mean, 253, and that's on earnings that are pretty robust as yeah. is, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, 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 right now, they're looking, there you go, they're looking that they're going to take in $3.9 billion. Yeah. Um, Number-wise, they're looking for 64 cents, right? Uh, uh, second quarter, right? 79. Yeah, 79 cents. Yeah. The still the growth is huge, man. It so, is. It know. is. And I, I suspect, you know, internationally the growth the growth is 57. Say, look at that number. Yeah, yeah it's a monster. And it, it is. And, you know, that's looks to me that's going to continue. We had Bank of America uh, come out with numbers this morning. They were good numbers, um, up 57 cents. Not a not a big not a big uh, move forward for. It's the same yeah. with uh, where we were trading basically at the beginning of last week yeah. almost. And JP Morgan kicked it off on Friday. That's up a buck seventy three. How about BlackRock as well? I think it's BL oh, BLK. BLK, yeah. So the BlackRock thing was kind of interesting, and this is why. So watch this with BlackRock, folks, okay? So BlackRock's down six bucks. You're trading at five oh one. When I was looking at this this morning, so you, you have BlackRock, you know, that uh, good old infamous February 9th level, okay, that's 500 bucks. Yes. Um, you know, it's going after it, man. And now with BlackRock, now this is what gets really interesting. With BlackRock, you can get a gauge on they, let me find this article because I saw it this morning. Here it is right here. Yeah. Because what happens is that they own iShares. Yes. So. Huge ETFs. Yes. And clients are pulling money out of the ETF market, you know, 
Yeah, clients pulled a, 22 billion. That, 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 that's not a lot because they manage 1.8 trillion. But bottom line, and that dude, I'm not cutting you off, but yeah. right, it's and that the inflows slowed, as in yes. inflows to iShares products totaled 17.8 billion. Not a bad number to be no. a slowing inflow, but the lowest since the second quarter of 2016. Yeah, I mean you're talking about two full years of the lowest level. Um, that's right. And so what happens there, folks? Okay, particularly you know in the iShare product. Um, that's the, always the chicken or the egg. You know, you buy the ETF, the ETF sponsor, which is BlackRock in this case, has to buy all the equities. Guess what? When they sell and they get, you know, people say, I want my money back. Well, they got to sell the ETF. And there's, there's a great, so there's a great visual. What, so these are falling flows month. Uh, money going into the iShares products has yep. plummeted, and these are their inflows. And you can right. see that acceleration to the downside, man. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Now, you know what's going to be interesting? I, we're going gonna, gonna, to gonna ask uh, Jason uh, Path when he comes on uh, at 1040 this morning, right? Because he, he, he can dig into all this data. Because that would be, that would seem to be a good data point to dig into as to what is the flow on an iShare, meaning that they're so large, folks, okay? Yes. It's, it's just a big, big number. Definitely. You know? Yep. 877-927-6648. The, um, let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here and see if we got uh, what's, what's happening. Bank of America is the um, largest volume right now. That's up 60 cents. You got uh, GE down four, no big deal there. Micron Tech is up 52. Uh, Wells Fargo's up a buck. You get uh, JP Morgan up a buck seventy-five. Marathon Oil is down one one fourteen. Um, let's go look at Exxon Mobil because the, there's no doubt that the uh, oil contract is down a buck. So, Exxon and Chevron just they were basically screaming that they just can't make it up over the highs of the last six months. That is that's amazing too when you look at a seventy-five dollar oil. It's okay, you know. That, that basically telegraphed, you know, that lower prices are coming at us. And it didn't seem that the oil market wanted to break at all. And then all of a sudden it breaks out of nowhere, right? And it broke out of nowhere when we got a, what, 12 million barrel draw. Right. Which is amazing. It should have been just the opposite. Spike up to 74 yeah. and that's all she wrote. Yeah. yeah. So this morning, folks, we got this down two bucks. Um, you, you break in and... Let's see, that's light volume though. We got, uh, we're going after 860,000 contracts as well as 700, and you only got 225. So it, it'll probably just stay in this range, but the bottom of that range is 63. And that goes till 230, I think, right? Yes, Crude it does. for the yes, volume it does. in terms of, yeah. Um, the, of course, the beginning of the week, folks, Bitcoin. We got a little bit of a pop this morning. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. So let's um, just to jump back. Yeah, so 5 a.m. we're trading down there at 63.50. Call it we're 250 dollars higher. Nothing really to shake at when you look at, um, you know, even coming into the close on Friday, you're, you're down at 6100 and change. So 500 dollars from that level. Nothing, nothing. You know, 500 dollars. You're talking about 8 percent maybe. In, in that, that's one big, of the biggest moves we've had in the last three or four months. I mean, months. they're big moves when it's only right. trading at 6,000, right? right? In terms of 500, right. 600 points. Exactly. Um, dollars, not even points. Uh, yeah, so 6606. Let's take a look at where these line up. So the weekly spread that they start 8 a.m. Mondays, yeah. uh, 2,400 to 104. So you're looking at $8,000 total in the price of Bitcoin. Middle of the spread going to be about 6,400, which is probably where it was trading at. There you go, like five in the morning, give or take, when it opened. And um, these expire Friday, and we'll jump into the monthlies when we come back here, which are uh, pretty similar, but slightly different. And folks, you can uh, test drive the uh, Nadex uh, platform. Just come over to our website at TFNN, hit that platform, bring up the uh, demonstration account as uh, we walk through uh, these uh, defined option contracts. Dow right now, flat, s and is off, four, coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will 
will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you, something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now uh, up four, NASDAQ down three, S&P's uh, uh, down four, and uh, we get a World Series champion, right? We sure do. So we were talking about it last week, and let me pull up the story. There you go. We'll get it over here on the visual. So John Sin wins the 2018 World Series Poker main event. So uh, this was going on Saturday night, and what was amazing is that they, they came back with three people. Okay. And... Uh, Sin had like 190 million. The the Tony Miles, who's the guy who had, took heads up, had about 190 million. And the third place guy had 23 million. Third place guy gets knocked out relatively quickly. And these two proceed to play a heads up match for like nine hours, That's eight crazy. hours. It finished at like almost eight in the morning East Coast time. Really? Um, in the morning, yeah. So so you woke up. I was actually chatting with Steve Rhodes. He was saying he woke up. And it was still going. You got to watch the end of it um, wow. on ESPN. It was pretty cool to play the whole thing live on ESPN. They went back and forth many times. So Johnson won it. 8.8 uh, .8 million, not bad, out of 7,874 7, <sighs> players. Um, pretty cool. Now, since we're doing a quick poker update, the other thing that was pretty cool, Joe Cato was at that main event final table. He has won the main event before. These guys must love poker. I might have yeah. taken a little break after playing two weeks, winning yeah. 1.8 million in the main event. He jumps into the next event. And he wins that for like six hundred and twenty grand, fifteen hundred dollar event with thirty one hundred and twenty people. Right after he got bust. right after he got out, right? I mean, pretty remarkable. Um, obviously, to get a little lucky, but obviously playing that very is cool. well. And then the last friend for uh, those high rollers out there. Oh, yeah, uh, what is this? One? Yeah, so they have the the big one for one drop. And so what this is is uh, Guy Le Liberté, who is the owner of Cirque du Soleil. I'll okay. tell you about him. He's actually obviously a billionaire businessman. Yep. Right. But he's a high-stakes poker player as well, and he created a charity that's called the One Drop. And what this is is I believe it's $111,000 of the tournament goes to 
his charity. Okay. So it's a kind of a way to bring the high rollers in and you get maybe some businessmen that are into charity and poker too that yeah. know what they're doing. But anyway, regardless, the million dollar tournament going on as part. How many people did I get in? Yeah, so they got 24 people. That's amazing. And if you follow poker, you would know most of the names, okay. as in um, Phil Ivey, Daniel Negreanu, um, Rick Solomon. Now, do they have people backing them, or are they using their own bread? Is there Many, uh, so many... I, I, I pause because there's obviously a combination when okay. you're at this million dollars. Okay. You know, I mean, anybody who's good at poker, you might get in there, but you're only talking about 24 people, and you're talking about 24 of the best. There might be a few that sneak in here that are busy. I mean, you're okay. playing literally the best of the best. But what they do often do is that they share action, and that's not in a bad way. It happens all yeah. the time, as in, you know, Maybe they each, maybe 10 players that are all good friends because you tour the tour every week right. playing these high rollers. They say nobody can afford a million dollar tournament where you basically get knocked out nine out of 10 times and make no money. So why don't I take 100, 10 players, I take 100 grand of myself and yeah. everybody takes 100 grand of themselves. Okay. And then we have a 10, we have, I have 10% of 10 players. And that's where you diversify your action, and so right. that's more what happens, as in a lot of these big-name pros will share action and trade action okay. um, with each other. So that guy, Daniel, he's the all-time moneymaker? He is the all-time money winner. I think he's up to What's 30... What's his last name? Negreanu. Negreanu. Yeah, so he's up to 36 or 38 million. So he is Poker Stars' big representative, okay. Daniel Negreanu. And uh, I only mentioned that in that. So he uh, has quite a lucrative sponsorship contract, probably more so than any other poker player out there, yeah. to be the forefront face of everything. But yeah, you're talking about 36, 37 million dollars. Now, he's posted what was interesting. He's had a heck of a year or somewhat, but he's posted yearly buy-ins. I mean, you're talking about... he. Pays like 2.8 to 3.4 million in buy-ins a year, and that's not counting the years that he pays a million dollars for one tournament. As in, you play a hundred thousand dollar tournament every single week, that's 55.2 yeah. million. You know, right. as in they just play big time. You might earn that much. You what better, it, what you better you, win. What, yeah. it, what did it take to what's make that kind of money? What's the expense ratio? Exactly. Yeah, anyway, right. so people can check that out uh, for updates online. But million dollar tournament, and I think they came back. Negranu and Ivy actually. Um, are right near the top. There's your chip count. So Phil Ivey, 10-time bracelet winner. They started with 5 million in chips. Okay. Um, and they started with 24, 19 players left. And I don't think they have the payouts yet, yeah, because you can register late. But um, you're talking about $24 million prize pool, 24 players. Not bad. Wow. That's some action, man. Unreal. Totally. 877-927-6648. Let's uh, take a look at the... Uh, Good old uh, euro. So the euro, folks, there's, we still have a disconnect here in between the what the euro and the dollar and gold is doing. Okay, the, so the euro's got a little uh, juice in it today. You're up 33 ticks, and it's not huge, but bottom line is that you're not down. And the last low on the euro goes back to the 29th of May, which is 115. That being said, if we get over and we take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see is that the dollar basically is going south. You know, you're down uh, 300 ticks. Um, volume, though, is light there again this morning. They had 8,000 contracts, but that's not helping uh, gold. Bottom line is that, you know, the, the danger that I'm looking at in this gold contract, man, is that each and every time, even if the dollar goes down, gold is not catching a bit. Yeah, and that's a, that's it's been a struggle. That, that's, that's, a, that's a problem, child. Um, if we go over to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX, you know, the GDX right now has broken the lows of last week. You know, you're coming at the strength, and you have, you know, light volume, but bottom line is that this is going to be an important part, man. This GDX at uh, 2193, well, 2177, rather. And sorry, what is that, 2177, the that's, high? That's the, the swing the low, low of uh, the okay. 26th. Okay, the end of June. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, doesn't seem to want to catch a bid uh, at all, but... That happens in the gold market Did quite you a catch, bit. So we had other sports out there. You catch any? They had Wimbledon finals going on. Yeah. They had World Cup final going on, right? That was cool. Congrats to France. Uh, I I'm know. not a huge soccer fan, but right. I love competition. Right. Every time you get teams right. competing, they play the right. World Cup, I think, every two years. So it's like you train for two years. You represent your country. That's why I love the Olympics. No, no. Yeah. Um, so that was a cool deal. And then on the, uh, on the tennis, you see some of the marathon matches they had one that went for like six hours i i read about them oh, I didn't, they were, yeah. and i woke up uh like so running five and a half hours i can't i know pros. i was talking yeah. about i mean it's just amazing um and then they had so the guy they i forget i think it was anderson played one semi semi-final that went so late that the other semifinal had to stop Friday night. That's right. And then the ladies are supposed to play the final on Saturday. Guys had to come back and play ahead of them. But then those guys in the fifth set went to like a 9-8. Oh, 
and then they had to come back on Sunday. So you, right. they went like nine eight in the fifth right. set on Saturday morning, and then you come back Sunday. And, and then, that and that said that normally you get a, a day break in between the yes, finals. Yes, that's what right. 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 Let alone you don't play a long match too. Like they started their match on Friday night. They went late on Saturday, as in yep. playing a fifth set that went to ten games. I mean, I work out. I know, you know, I was active yesterday. I can feel it in my legs. I can't imagine, you know, five and a half hours. Yeah, right? nice pretty cool. Enough. And what they say, well, what I read anyway, is that the guy that did win Wimbledon, he's known that he can... Djokovic. Uh, yeah, that he can... Uh, what happens when you, yeah, you, you, the body comes back very quickly. Okay, rejuvenated. Yeah, nice. you know, that's, you know... Yeah. And, he had been injured for a while. That yeah, was a big right, uh, right, deal, so this right. is his... His big comeback, but yeah, I mean, talk about talk about being in shape. I guess I better get a TV down St. Pete. <laughs> when yeah, I text, there was lots when going I text on. You, I know. No, I know. you don't got to get a TV. You just got to yeah. get your iPad hooked up. Yeah, I was, I was right. going to reply, but you know that. I mean, you can. You can, <laughs> no, you can watch I know, everything. No, seriously, crazy. Yeah. Eight seven seven. Oh man, Basil Chapman. He'll be talking about that. Look That's at that. That's right. Five point five hours. Yeah, and that was so the Anderson semifinal was six and a half hours, and the Nadal wow. Djokovic, which was the one that Look ended Saturday that. morning, was five point five. Crazy. And then they come back and play on Sunday. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now down two. Nasdaq's off six. S and P's are off five. Come right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then and head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Amazon, this is it, folks. Three o'clock today. Christmas morning is here in July. Get ready. Amazon's up 14 bucks, uh, $1,827. You get Prime starts at uh, three o'clock. They get all this advertising they for free. Do. And they're so quick, if you remember, they, they were so quick last year to come out with the, the statistics of what they do on this day. Right. I heard it's going to be... 3.4 billion worldwide. Really? They're, they're expected to do. So Amazon Prime Day starts at 3 o'clock. Uh, they got a lot going on, man. I was, yeah. We were just checking during the commercial break. Can you go back to those? Because Yes. I, I wonder if, if, that's like, a, if that's a new deal or what. They, they, it's, it's the Amazon Echo. Come on. But you can now, see now it like on there. TV. Yeah. Where it's it's going to be one of these. Here we go. There's the deals. Yeah. And this is, yeah, so they, they, they're they great at promoting their own products, right? right? So right. the Echo Show is kind of their newest deal with the, um, a screen to go with your Echo Dot type. But then oh, they I have, bet Dave White's going to auto a bunch of those. He loves that. <laughs> he wants cameras in, in, everywhere in his house. Yeah. Um, yeah, they get a bunch of deals on their Echo, their, their Alexa products, right? Yeah. And then even clicking further, it's like, what, you can win a car, where do we find it? But it, they're, yeah. they're so smart at getting you. So... If you have an Alexa device, you can enter to win this Lexus. All you have to do is ask Alexa any of the phrases below or click on the boxes below. Basically, they just want to get you there in yep. some capacity. But look at what they are. Look at this. What's in the news? What is Prime Day? What are the deals? How can I create my own skill? Basically, like teaching you how to use it because tell, you, man. tell me about Prime, play music. Tell me a life hack. Where's my stuff? I mean, these are all things. I wonder how many courses right now are big schools as to, you know, the marketing muscle and the the brilliance you know behind that, that amazon. amazon is yeah, yeah. no they uh yeah. you know i i always say that apple really missed a beat with siri somehow allowing yeah. alexa to right. infiltrate right. the every u.s home right. um or a lot apple of had it right there's no doubt but there is the difference that the difference is is that you all end up on amazon's website to buy retail stuff right you don't necessarily go to the Apple store no. ready to buy. And so there was that little difference. Right. Amazon was smart. They said, we're just going to start pushing out these Echoes, the Echo Dot, the Echo everything. Right. And you'd go there for Christmas. And just like today, they'd have an amazing deal on the, I mean, $29 yeah. to have one of those Echo Dots in. Right. Versus like, I think Apple has a speaker now that's like $200. You know, they still haven't hit that. You need cheap stuff everywhere in your houses and cheap but good as in those little Echo devices. Yep. Um, so we'll see what they sell. 3.4 million is what they were thinking worldwide in their 36 hours. Starts at 3 o'clock, and I believe it runs till 3 in the morning, 36 hours past then. They're starting. They, they grab it all, man. They get you Monday night from 3 o'clock. Yep. You, you get your business done, right? The afternoon trails off. You get to just go online and shop, and then they carry you all the way through the next day. Pretty amazing. It is. Unreal. Yeah. Let's go into uh, the Dow Industrials and see what we have strength versus weakness out there. we got a flat Dow. The uh, strength, let's see. Point wise, there it is. They're lucky they have Boeing, or Dow would be nowhere. So Boeing's putting 33 positive points, Goldman 19, JP Morgan 13, Cisco 6. So Cisco getting a little pop in yeah. keeping with the Amazon. They, they plummeted last week when the news was Amazon might get into their business, but then there was some, I think I was either an analyst or Cisco, maybe executive, somebody was saying oh, really? it's not as bad as it might seem. Okay. And so there's, did you see that uh, deal on Friday? I didn't. Oh, no. let's pull up the Cisco chart. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, Amazon basically said they're thinking about getting into the chip business. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. that and went, it goes... That um, went down with volume, too, man. That's that's going to be back down there. That's, it was quite a day. I mean, you're talking about 6 7% yeah. just on the went news. Went from 4378 to 4095. Yeah. So a little bit of a rebound today is that's maybe that's yeah. not as... But last thing you want to hear, right, is that oh, Amazon is going to get God. into your business and start making chips. And, yeah. I, yeah. Well, you know, I guess what every company has to worry about Amazon... Because picture, they're probably in one of the hardest businesses. They have the thinnest spreads. So it means they, they process-wise, they can get into anyone's business. Yeah. Because, you know, m most businesses have a much larger spread than Amazon does. And they sure, make margins, money. profit margins, margins right? Yeah. No, right. right. You know? Yeah. And they're at the point where they can basically yeah. bankroll anything they want to do as long as they see profitability in the they, long run, which is a scary proposition when they could literally say, we're going to just come in and spend $10 billion over the next 10 years and lose money. But guess what? On the 11th year, we're going to own the industry, whatever yeah. we're talking about. And everyone else is gone. Right? 
Yeah, that's true. The uh, inside the NDX 100 strength is Cisco. Uh, weakness is JB Hunt. We gotta look at oh, that one. Tesla too. Yeah, Did you Tesla. See Tesla. Yeah. Elon Musk had had quite a little episode over the weekend. Yeah. Did you see him? What is he? He's, he's yeah. calling. He's calling one of the, it's, what one exactly? Of the these, one of the, one of the saving guys like a, a the, the tie pedophile. Dive, yeah, he called them pedo guy. Like, and then why did that do that? Of, I, I I think there's a lot of people asking that same question. You know, I'm I'm used to seeing Elon Musk headlines, right? Yeah. And this one got shared in the group chat, me and my friends and I, and it was a wow, as in what is going on, man? Um, and of course, Must the Tide... U.S. Dive a pedophile yeah. and spat over their Thai rescue. It's almost like you'd expect it from a satire site, um, right? Not real news, but <sighs> that's where Elon has gone in terms of the online agenda, I guess. And it came from the Thai diver questioning that quote-unquote submarine and saying it wasn't even close, it was a PR stunt. I mean, the, from what I read, the diver was down there for like 17 days, a critical guy in the rescue. Give the guy some credit, right, and, and, and some thanks instead of just flipping out over your company because he says your submarine wasn't even close to what they needed. He's probably right. I'm going to side oh, with the guy yeah. diver there so give me a, break, a million man. times out of a million times. Pretty exactly. amazing. That's, that's pretty sick. It is, and I, it would worry me if I was an investor because it's one thing going after analysts, right? It's one thing going after bad press for your company. It's another thing when you're just completely unhinged. Yeah. It's like <laughs> going, going after the Thai Marines. Yeah. Like, really? They just saved like yeah. 12 kids and their coach. Right. Exactly. All right. So uh, Tesla's down 3%. Hasbro's off 2.7. Fox is down 2.2. JB Hunt, let's see what's going on here because this is the trucking business. So let's see. They come up with numbers. I see second quarter revenue. Okay. There, there you go. They yep. did. Okay. So the estimate was uh, 2 Point zero six billion gross revenue. They made two point one four earnings. A dollar thirty seven. You know they yeah, came they, out with num. It both. says revenue beats highest yeah. in estimates, so yeah. they must have um, other other yeah. news within here, right? But, yeah. So let's just look at this because that is a big number. Whoa. Yeah. That is. So this this if this is careful right. of the top line, well, let right? Me go look, let me look somebody saw the top this line is, and then went digging further. Listen in there. to this, folks. This is intense. Wow. So this opened at one hundred and twenty nine dollars. They they took everyone to the cleaners on this, and it goes down to one sixteen. Let me look. It's now something. down like four oh, percent. Yeah, this, this is a problem, child. Look at this. So they seventeen thousand shares got sold at the high. A lot more, yeah. And then the next trade within 10 minutes is 125. Stayed to 125, 117. This, man, that's a lot of shares traded up that, there. That's I mean, a lot of shares traded. And this thing pulled us back a little bit more. Oh, see, it's right at its highs. This is, this is going to be a little problem, child, man. I mean, this has been up at these highs since uh, January of this year. Like, what? You know, Can so, you go back to the news before yes. uh, you click away? I'm just curious. Yes. I don't think I saw anything in there, but there's got to be some guidance. Well, he'll, yeah. That's the only... I, I, we can, go ahead. We can no, go no, back no. to the main screen. We'll that's, check back during the break. Yeah. And the I, thing, there's got to be something and in the, there. Well, the thing that's intriguing, see, when you look at these, these trades, that's not... A, when you see a stock that can go down that far and that's not a lot of trades, that's a problem. There's no buyers. 17,000. It just add those up quick. You know, we've done 350,000. Someone's like, they let that thing go. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm M. Jason Path from the Dutch book. Come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors.
No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 10. We get the NASDAQ flat. S&Ps are off 3.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jason Path from the Dutch Book, as we do each and every Monday at 40 past the uh, hour. Jason, what's going on, brother? Tom, a lot, man. How are you? Good, man. Good. Jason, well, good morning. Yeah. Happy Monday, man. Hey, Tommy, how are you, man? Doing Happy well, Monday. man. So, you get a lot of great stuff in the Dutch book this week. I think yeah, we'd, we'd like to start off with Netflix, our favorite yeah. uh, viewing uh, item. And, uh, you know, the, the growth aspect inside that Netflix has been pretty incredible. And to complete disclosure, both avid customers of Netflix. Yeah. But go ahead. <laughs> That's right. I have, I have six avid customers of Netflix in my house. Do so. you? Good for you, man. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of well, value, right? For sure. Yeah, totally. So... You know, the domestic market is clearly slowing. I mean, there's only so much addressable streaming demand left. So they knew this all along. They've executed well internationally. The question for us really gets to price point and the level of discounting that they need to do internationally. The streets uh, anticipating about 79 cents EPS. That's right in line with their guidance. This is a company that's executed very well, right? They, they yes. typically deliver overperform. Uh, when you look at a you know a chart of surprises, uh, earnings surprises, it's mostly green. And he's got a lot uh, of great charts in here, That's, folks. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just so cool. We how were much, looking at that surprise information you have in here. It's been right. since almost 2016 that they've you know surprised on a negative way in any meaningful manner. That's right. Well, and so last quarter they really guided much higher and much more aggressively this quarter. Um, we think there's risk to that. The the real question, the variable here is how does the market ingest that? Right? They've yes. added 50 billion to market cap uh, this year. Yeah. And stocks up 115 percent. So. 50 billion in one year. That's yeah. a billion a week. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable what's happened to the stock. I mean, this, the the chart's straight up, and yeah. we all get it, right? The world is racing to streaming. They have yeah. a prime mover advantage, but uh, over the short term, we think it's going to be volatile. Their stock always moves on the other side of an announcement. Something else that we've noticed that you know the street really does watch their guidance more closely than others because of how they've executed, because of how aggressive they've been lately. Okay. Um, again, we, we think domestic's right in line. We think that's a, a well-oiled machine. They yeah. continue to churn through the addressable market. They've got their price points in line. 
we just we just see a little bit of weakness in the math to try and open the new markets that they're doing internationally. You know, they come out with a free trial, right? And so they'll take on those new subscribers. We think they'll get to that number, but they've had to discount heavily to get there internationally. We think there's a little weakness in revenue. We're a little lower, like a hundred billion lower than than the street or Netflix consensus. So okay. if they give strong guidance again, but only off a hundred billion on three point or a hundred million on three point nine billion. I, I honestly, can't, you know, I, we don't know what the market will do. Maybe they'll buy the future growth and can consider that this company continues to execute and really ratchet up EPS, or maybe, you know, they'll lose the race against expectations and just discount them on a miss. It's you know, going to be Tommy really and fun I've been to watch. talking about um, is that th we seem to all be getting used to, you know, like whether you go to Amazon Prime or we we we're getting used to going to other sites also so it's really intriguing right. do you know what I mean where at the beginning was only Netflix right and I right. It, and it's like okay is that gonna end up hurting them which which it seemed like it would because I mean every time have a you, Disney you, app that's gonna be Fox yeah, real soon you know? it's gonna have so many right. I, mean, I think if you have kids what that'll be I mean yeah. may, right Jason I mean six yeah. of those you're gonna have a Disney um, subscription that's right to, and for, they've had they've had Disney to now which was was an interesting play for Disney so the Disney app is coming uh, and something else that they've done much more aggressively than others is their original content yeah they, which is great paid. yeah it's, it's fantastic and they paid a lot for it it's it is a huge amount of money what we don't know really is over time how well that translates internationally right, right. Are folks watching house of cards in taiwan for instance That's as right. they try and open up new markets how much more they're gonna have to layer on original content sure given that the domestic market that consumes the bulk of that is slowing and then um, the next you know, generations, well, they right. watch it too, yeah, and they right. don't have to pay anything. Do you sure. know what I mean? That's right. Because I was listening right. to a couple of the, um, you know, music folks out there over the weekend, and they were talking about like they just it's hard for them to comprehend that they had a great song 15 years ago one generation watched it and then all of a sudden you know it died and then all of a sudden another generation watched it and all of a sudden they have a hit again must be nice that's right yeah that's, that's what they were saying in, they said yeah. oh my god look yeah. what just happened you know sure. what i mean that's right yeah well and you know that's what um you know as, as we were working through this this weekend you know folks have 10-year models for netflix if you can tell me what streaming looks like or content oh. distribution looks like in 10 years i mean i can take their run rate 10 years in the future but the idea that in 36 months this is in a massively different world yeah we've already started on that path we're just trying to catch up and and see where this is headed but to your point you know amazon disney folks are getting a lot smarter about over the top and that has to erode the prime mover advantage again they've got the content but they've never really been able to show over the long term an ability to monetize they always pay for it out of future growth but if sure. that slows domestically yeah. it's really an open question how much roi is really there in the original given the price point that they pay for it it's fantastic and it definitely signs people up but they pay a gargantuan amount of money they do to use that stuff. and we get a nice deal so let's ne oh, let next go okay. for it. no i was gonna say bitcoin where yeah bit yeah, pay, yeah bitcoin we got you yeah. got some movement you caught bitcoin nice man i like it yeah yeah huge huge move this morning so uh sharp move up we've been fairly constructive you know taking a little bit of heat of that for that over the last few weeks um you know, one thing that we have noticed actually is a little bit of weakness given a drop in volatility. We can okay. monitor that closely. We've talked about that several times. Volatility is down 50 to 60 basis points off two weeks ago. So clearly a move like we saw this morning starts to reverse that narrative. So we're just watching very closely this week. Search volume is down incrementally. Volatility was down. Uh, dollar per user transaction, dollar per user were stable at healthy levels. So this is a pivotal week. Every week's a pivotal week in crypto, but if this sharp move up can hold, we see us ranging 65, 66, 6700 through the week. We think we could see 7,000 possibly, but our midpoint forecast is really around that 68 number, which is not that much higher than we are today, but I don't know how much is left in this move. It clearly seems to have leveled off. You know what's cool? When I woke up this morning, I, I was thinking of the Dutch book, and I'm saying to myself, you know, the way that... that it seems that the Bitcoin is running and cryptos in general is that you got to, if you're going to buy them, buy them Friday night. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> no, so. I mean, do you know what I mean? I'm then, serious, of course, I'm, saying, I'm, ta I'm talking to myself and saying, oh, yeah, sure, I, you know, buy them every Friday night, Tom. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It, it really yeah. does. I mean, it, it yeah. seems that, you know, we've talked about yeah. it when you've been on the show on Thursday afternoon with me, too. Do you know what I mean? That, hey, yeah. listen, it's a big retail audience. Definitely. You know? Yeah. 
and then just wait because it all come you know it yeah. most comes at once you get these huge step moves people all pile in when they see it just flinch up and um it's it's held these step moves uh, off of the 5800 number that we reached a few weeks ago so we think it'll hold this week we should exit the week 67 to 6900 yeah nice. well i can i can tell you that one of the stories just in general that was probably positive for bitcoin is that you had blackrock come out first blackrock came out and said that they've been uh they got a group together uh, looking at the Bitcoin deal, right? Yes. And then the spokesman for BlackRock said, well, we've been doing that for a long time. Then you had the CEO of BlackRock come out, Larry Fink, saying, no, not, no one, at, none of our investors are looking at crypto. He goes out of his mind, you know, um, with okay. anything. He goes out of his mind with the double and triple uh, ETFs. ETFs yeah. He goes out of his mind with anything that someone's going to put their money anywhere <laughs> except with him. That's right. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's running trillions. You know what I mean? Sure. But I, when I saw that, I said, oh, that, that, that's pretty good. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Definitely, we're seeing more and more socialization in the institutional space, for better or worse. Yes. Listen, folks, you can come over to the DutchBook.com, get Jason's letter, great letter. Come to our website at TFNN, right on the, uh, Nadex News. You're going to see there's a lot of writing out there, does a lot of great workshops. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Uh, look forward yeah. to having you on uh, tomorrow. Uh, Thursday. Thanks so much, Jason. Have a great right, one. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. Have a good one. See you, man. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Aerobics Cube offers more than 100 million starting positions, resulting in 43 billion potential twists and turns. Yet this puzzle can be solved in 20 moves. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, and knowing the right move makes all the difference in the world. And on Thursday, July 19th at 4.15 p.m., I'll share with you the three essential tools behind my number one ranking by Timer Digest for the S&P 500. This 30-minute event is being hosted by Ninja Trader, and it's open to everyone in our listening audience. At this event, I'll share with you the Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal that subscribers not use to identify tops and bottoms, as well as Stevie's red line and the market profiles that I use. The sign-up link is on the homepage of TFNN.com and requires nothing more than your name and email address. To help celebrate my number one market timing ranking, we're making Mastering Probability available to anyone in our listening audience for the next 30 days with a free money-back guarantee, whether you've subscribed in the past or not. Make your move now by coming to the homepage of TFNN.com and sign up for Thursday's workshop, as well as my free newsletter trial offer. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 27. Nasdaq's up nine. S and P's are off six and a half. Market's losing a little, yeah. Yeah. Not much, but we'll just, a little, happens, just a little. Right? Yeah. So just as a final plug for Jason, you can get his free newsletter at thedutchbook.com. Head on over there. It's completely free, yeah. just with your email address and your name. And just to give you a, a quick glimpse, so we try and cover everything we can in that nine-minute segment. Man, he puts together such an awesome newsletter. He's talking about a lot of currencies in here. Of course, he covered Netflix. We talked about. He's talking about dollar yen. He's talking about natural gas. The Aussie dollar he has. He's talking about crude oil. Yeah. Some good analysis in here, looking at the uh, EIA, everything that's happening around them. There's your crude oil chart that he's got included in there. And then, of course, Bitcoin. So he's got a plethora of good information completely free over at thedutchbook.com. I encourage people to check it out. And he is on Tuesday and Thursday. Yes. I believe it's 4.15 uh, Tuesdays, 3.15 on Thursdays on your afternoon and 10.40 in the morning. Yeah. On Mondays. Yeah. And so if we uh, take a look, you know, this is like a slow bleed here. Um, and nothing heavy at the, this particular point. Uh, you know, the S&Ps are only, uh, the SPY is only down 60 cents. The thing to wrap your head around, though, is that we've been at this level going all the way back to the first high after the downdraft in February, which is the 27th, which is 278.92. And you're at 278.99 right yeah. now. And, you know, last week we came up. We didn't have the volume, but it held price. Uh, NDX 100, which we're going to get big action in this afternoon, um, is, you know, at, that's at an all-time high. And Netflix will move that. Uh, yes. You know, so remember also, which we haven't done, but when we do, Tommy and I do those volatility trades on the oil and gas market, uh, we're going to be coming into earnings season. Volatility trades can happen inside the NDX 100 yeah. from that 4 to 415 area. I believe Netflix is 405. It so is. you'd have 10 minutes of exposure in the futures. Maybe yeah. it's an 8x spread, binary, or just yeah. even futures in general. They're open right. all that day. So, yeah. yeah. Stay right there, folks. We got uh, swim lessons coming up next. And then actually, starting Thursday, it's going to be uh, a trading show. Fast markets. Fast markets. You got to love it. And then, of course, we got. I believe uh, it starts Wednesday, too. Okay. Yeah. We got a man, uh, Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Yeah, go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.